Good morning, all of you. In class 12 accountancy, today we are going to start analysis of financial statement. This book, chapter one. In this book, we are going to start first chapter that is analysis of financial statement. In this chapter, I am going to explain you what are the difference between uh, sole proprietor and partnerships balance sheet and companies balance sheet. What are the financial statements of the companies and how we do the analysis of this financial statement. So please make your own notes that is in very easy language you will be able to understand how we are doing that so make your own notes it, it will be easy for you to make your own notes yes please financial statements of company note down please financial statements are the basic and formal annual reports please mark it basic and formal annual reports. One by one, I am going to tell you how to write basic reports, formal reports, and annual. Annual means financial statements are prepared at the end of the year and generally, <coughs> to inform to the external parties and to communicate. Now the question is, what are the things included in financial statements? Note down please, for position statement, balance sheet. These questions, uh, this question came in the exam for the position statement, which is statement prepared by the company, you will write balance sheet. Balance sheet shows financial position how much assets the organization is having, how much liabilities they are having. That's why it is known as position statement, balance sheet. And next is statement of profit and loss, which shows profit everything. So please make it, and we can say financial statements are the end products, end products of the accounting process which shows financial position as well as profitability position of the organization. Clear? Any doubt? Now, next. Please make the balance sheet in your notebook, then it will be easy for you how the balance sheet will be there. See, when we prepare the balance sheet of sole proprietor and partnership, that is very easy to prepare. You know about it. See how you prepare this. This is liabilities, uh, assets, and all. Okay, but for the company organization, according to Indian Company Act 2013, they prepare the balance sheet in a different manner according to Revised Schedule 3 of the Company Act 2013. They are following the accounting standards and they are preparing the balance sheet. As you know the, about the balance sheet while making project, that current year, previous year amount with the note number because they have to show the detail in note. This balance sheet, which you have learned in class 11 in financial statement, that is for sole profit. And in the 12th class, for partnership in admission, retirement and death, you know about the balance sheet that is for the partnership and that is for sole proprietor. But for the company, see my dear children, look at here, this is for the company. So first of all, equity and liability. Please make this balance sheet, then it will be easy for you to learn the heading and subheadings also. <clears throat> see the font, equity and liability is in bigger format form, bigger font than shareholders form, little bit smaller font, then that is contains three parts, 
shareholders were classified in three parts share capital reserves and surplus money received against share bond and then second share application money pending allotment so see first equity and liability is divided in four parts s s n c these are the headings and under that subheadings so headings shareholders fund it is classified in share capital reserves and surplus money received against share warrant maybe the format of balance sheet will come in the exam draw the balance sheet of a company format of a balance sheet of a company according to indian company act 2013 see the font please first you will learn the equity and liability side this side liability side but for the company that liability is with equity so equity and liability first is shareholders fund share capital reserves and surplus money received against share warrant then application money pending now ncl 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 means non current liability non current liabilities which are also known as debt non current liabilities means the liabilities which are payable after one year that's why it is known as long term liabilities also so non current liabilities means long term borrowings you can see defer tax liability that will be not in your books this year other long term liabilities and long term provisions the which is also the part of it okay means if you have taken bank loan for one year that is current life if that is for more than one year that is non current life now current liabilities see it's very easy to learn current liabilities means the liabilities which are payable within the year generally we also known as about the current liabilities are known as short term liabilities short term means we have to pay within a uh, year so short term borrowings paid payables in uh, old books in place of trade payables creditors were given other current liabilities like outstanding expenses on on income etc and short term provision and here the total of liability side over See again, this is liability side. Uh, see, I am giving you it in a very easy manner in the book. That is given in a very complicated and tough manner. And even in NCERT, the whole pattern given. That's why I am telling you to please note it down. That will be beneficial for you for various topics. Okay, like non-current liabilities, long-term borrowings. Deferred tax liabilities, other long-term liabilities, long-term provision, current liabilities are short-term borrowings. Trade payables means creditors. If we purchase goods on credit, we have to pay them. That's why it is known as short-term liability, current liability, or creditors. Other current liabilities means outstanding expenses. What is outstanding expenses? Yes. Yes, expenses due but not paid, and unearned income. Income earned but services not. Income received in advance. Now, when liability side over, see how to learn it. S S N C S shareholders fund S share application N non current liability. C current. Now come on to the next side, or to the second side of the balance sheet. Okay, you want to copy it? Yes, please. Balance sheet of company on thirty first March twenty. Particulars. No need to write any other thing. Note number. Figures at the end of current year. Figures at the end of previous year. 
See, the balance sheet of company is prepared according to Indian Company Act 2013. In this rule, it is given that the balance sheet should be shown with the previous year's data also. That's why they show the amount of previous year as well as amount of current year. Now, shareholders fund, share application, non-current liabilities, and current liabilities. And these are the subheadings. Okay. Current liabilities is the head, and these are the subheads. Now, come on to the next side. Next side is asset. Assets are also classified in two parts non current asset and current asset. My dear children, please make it, then it will be easy for you. Non-current assets are those assets which are also known as fixed asset. Yes. Whose benefit we will get in many years. Like land and building, plot and machinery, furniture and fixtures, vehicle. These are known as fixed asset or non-current asset. But that is also having various subtypes. Fixed asset is also classified in tangible and intangible. A water tangible, which we can see, touch, type. Yes, this is tangible. Furniture is tangible, vehicle tangible, land and building, plot and machinery tangible. Then what is intangible? Which we cannot see or touch, but having some values. Monetary value also, goodwill, patent, copyright, yes. Goodwill, patent, copyright are intangible assets. Capital work in progress and intangible asset under development. Work in progress means the fully furnished is not there, finished is not there. That is work in progress. Some work is still remaining. The non-current investment. See, investments are also of two types. Up to one year, that is known as current investment. For more than one year, that is known as non-current investment. Deferred tax asset, long-term loans and advances in other non-current asset. In other non-current asset, few assets are then current assets. Current assets are those assets which are non-current assets. Whose utility is up to one year. Up to one year, like current investment made for one year. Up to one year. Inventories in few books that is given is stock. That is also current asset. These are the subheads. Please note it down. This is the easiest way to learn the balance sheet. Then trade receivable. Trade receivables means debtors, when the organization sell the goods on credit basis, when the organization sell the goods on credit basis, they will receive amount in future that is known as trade receivables. Then cash and cash equivalents, like cash balance and cash equivalents. Cash equivalent means Deposits in the bank, demand deposits, short term investment, marketable securities are known as cash equivalent, short term loans and advances, and other current assets. Now, what are the other current assets? Prepaid expenses. Expenses paid in advance. Accrued income. Income earned but not received. Now, one by one, I am going to tell you about these things. So again, see, this is very important topic for this year. Various types of questions can be framed from this topic. Like what is the head for uh, trade payables? That is current liabilities. Give two examples of current liabilities. Give two subheads of current liabilities. Assets classified in how many parts? Non-current asset and current asset. Equity and liability have how many parts? 
So you will write shareholder fund, share application, non current liability, current liability. I'm sure you that is very much beneficial for you. Now, one by one, what is current liabilities? In a short, you can write current liability is the liability which can be fulfilled any condition settled in normal operating cycle or within settled within 12 months that's why it is known as current liability what is non current liability non current liability means those liabilities which are not to be settled within one year okay so please if okay note it down one by one i am going to tell you financial statements are the statements which are known as end product please note it down end product at the end that is prepared they are prepared for following accounting concepts principles procedures and also according to the business rules they are the outcome of the summarized process of accounting okay conclusions can be drawn what are the results given by financial statements about the profitability and about the financial position yes see financial statements are prepared to know the profitability and financial position that are the main aim we can say why we prepare the financial statements to know the profitability and financial position okay now end products why we can say these are the end products because they show the financial results for a specific period and they show the financial position on our particular date profitability of the year and financial position of that date so note it down and another question who are the users of financial state see there are various users of the financial statements but generally we classify it in two parts internal and external internal users are owners management okay and those who are the organizers internal employees are also ready uh, see the financial reports of financial and external government investors government also see accordingly they make the policies investors if you are the investor how you will invest in any company just first you will see their financial statements you will check their financial position by the balance sheet see how they are strong and then the profitability through statement of profit and loss sop by investing first of all when you are doing the investment first of all you will see their financial position and profitability then tax authorities to impose the tax tax authorities also see the financial statements so various users are there and balance sheet shows the position on the date and profit and loss for the specific period after when you will know about the balance sheet and sopl then only you will know about the cash flow statement that's why first of all i have started this topic otherwise there will be problem for you so that's why i have written here if we want to know the movement of cash during the year movement of cash means inflow and outflow of cash then we can prepare the cash flow statement so for knowing the cash flow statement first of all we should know about the balance sheet of the company balance sheet of the company is in this format according to indian companies act 2013 schedule 3 that balance sheet is classified in two parts first is equity and liability second is asset first 
then equity and liability side is classified in four parts shareholders fund which is in three parts these are known as subheadings share application money non current liability classified in four parts long term borrowings which are known as debt debentures which carries fixed percentage rate of interest then deferred tax liability other long term liabilities long term provision then current liabilities current liabilities are those liabilities which are to be paid within 12 months that is related with operating cycle so these are short term borrowings that must be paid within 12 months trade payables means creditors other current liabilities means outstanding expenses on on income please note it down now uh, second side see the total and these two totals should be match total of liabilities with the total of asset asset side is classified in only in two parts non current asset and this non current asset heading is in five sub parts fixed asset fixed asset are those assets which are classified in four parts for long term period tangible intangible capital work in progress intangible blank format also will come in the exam NCI, deferred tax, long-term loan, other non-current. Then current asset classified in six parts: current investment, inventory, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent, short-term loan, and other current asset. See in the notes. Note number is also prepared. now for uh, confusion there is some confusion between current liability and non current liability as well as current asset and non current that is the confusion between generally in the mind of the students to whom we can say these are the cl simple language current liabilities are those liabilities which can be fulfilled by these following conditions first that is related with the operating cycle now what is operating cycle operating cycle means the time between the acquisition of asset for processing and their realization in cash that may be from few days to few months okay then it is held for the purpose of being traded that's why inventory included in it because inventory means the purpose is resale trading then settled within 12 months that's why it is known as current liability and uh, company does not have any unconditional right okay and what are the non current liabilities those liabilities which are not the current liability are known as non current liability means that should be paid after 12 months that is not related to the operating cycle that is for more than one year now what are the current asset same language we can write current assets are those assets which are related with the operating cycle purpose means being traded like inventory the current liability means creditors trade payable and current asset means debtors means trade receivable within 12 months we can realize it okay and what are the non current assets those assets which are not the current asset is known as non current assets that's why we can say it's very easy to describe these so first of all note down the format first liability side then asset side i'm sure you will be able to differentiate the current as liability and non current liability and current asset but non current asset See, when we prepare the balance sheet of sole proprietor in class eleven or uh, in partnership in class twelve, we know the marshalling of the asset. 
means sequence of asset permanence order or liquidity order there but here in the company's format there is a fixed format fixed format first permanence means non current asset then current asset okay so the, generally we can say that the balance sheet of company is prepared according not on the liquidity basis according to the permanence basis first we show the fixed asset non current asset then we show the current asset but in different sub heads in these balance sheet which are we prepare for sole proprietor and partnership that is not classified according to it. but company's balance sheet have heading as well as some headings okay i am sure you will be able to do that